I've noticed that a lot of people use a pricing tactic that they don't even realize is manipulative. And it's a tactic called charm pricing. It's ending your price in a nine or a seven usually. So uh, sometimes a five, so like 14.95 instead of 15 or $47 instead of 50 or $999 instead of a thousand. It's called charm pricing or psychological pricing because it's meant to charm the consumer into not thinking about the price and just buying because they are hypnotized. Okay, they're, it's not really that they're hypnotized, but that their brain is being short circuited by this weird price. So they don't compare it to their budget. So basically, it's like you are making someone you're asking someone, Oh, yeah, don't think about how much it costs to you, because then you might consider how that, you know, aligns with your budget and how that aligns with the other things you could spend money on. I don't want you to think about that. I want you to just, just be under my spell and buy my thing. Now, studies have shown that charm pricing does make more sales. I've seen one study that says it makes 25% more sales, something like that. So I am leaving money on the table, maybe a lot of money, instead of making you know, $10,000 a month which I do, I could make 12,500 a month by using charm pricing. So I'm like not making, I'm making a decision that's keeping about $30,000 a year away from me, but that $30,000 a year, now yours might be different. Now it's not necessarily that's 25% for everybody, but that's what I've seen one study show. But it's just not worth such, it's like blatant manipulation that it's so obvious to me. And it's, I think it's so obvious to a lot of people that I think we might want to stop doing it. And maybe you didn't realize it was a manipulation until like, you watched this video. And I apologize because now you can't go back. <laughs> now you realize what's going on. And I don't think we have to do it because I think a clear conscience is more important for an authentic business than using psychological persuasion or psychological spell tactics to get people to spend money with us. And a lot of you are doing it, but you don't even know why, because you heard your marketing expert tell you you should end it in a seven or a nine, it's supposed to work better. And yes, studies show that it does work better for short-term you know, sales. But this, those same studies didn't study what the long-term effects are on the relationship between the client and the provider, as well as the provider, the seller's own conscience and what that does to the conscience and what that does to the long-term authenticity and sustainability and thriving of that business. The studies, of course, didn't, didn't, didn't study that. But I know myself from my own experience that when I make choices that make me feel like I'm in an honest and service-oriented relationship with my client and customer, that it, it is a better forecast of that relationship. They, the trust is, is much more likely and, and much more lasting. And the word of mouth is more likely to happen and all these good things. So yes, even if short-term sales, you make 25% more by tricking the, the customer into not thinking about the price because they're, it's hard to think about 997 or 1495 or 47 or whatever. It's hard, it's hard to think about that. So we just go, okay, it sounds really nice. I'm an under a spell, I'm gonna buy, not think about the budget, okay? I make, not make, but I, I, want my, I want my people, I want you to think about the prices of my things and to compare it with what else you could spend your money on. I want you to do that. Because, and I want you to do this with every other business program. So many of you I see are spending money on these giant business programs that use charm pricing and other psychological tactics. And you're just really unconsciously buying into these things without saying, yeah, sure, I'll buy a $2,000 thing. Sure, I'll buy a $500 thing. And you don't go, wait, 
Let me compare that, for example, with what George charges. George Cow, I, if, instead of spending $1,000 on this online course, I could buy 10 of George Cow's courses with this money. Have you ever thought of that? Like, why are you spending $1,000 here when you can buy 10 of my courses here? It's because you're being tricked by charm pricing and other psychological tactics. You're not giving yourself enough spaciousness, breath, time, sleeping on it to think and go, let me compare this with other options. And of course, those sellers don't want you to compare because they want you to buy right away so they can make more money. So the relationship is, so the relationship is one of cold calculation, right? They're, they're coldly calculating. If I do this, I'm going to get these results. Whereas authentic marketing is about feeling together. Let me explain. You, you know, some people, sometimes people go, well, George, I mean, is there really no manipulation in marketing? You can, is it, is it possible? I mean, when you're trying to be interesting, I mean, when you're trying to share something passionately and you're, 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 you're naturally persuasive, aren't you manipulating? There's a difference, right? Because when I'm passionate about something, when I'm genuinely wanting you to feel the same way that I feel, right? That is a natural, organic feeling together, bringing together, like we both feel this way. I want, I feel this way and I want you to feel this way with me. That's what I want because I feel like this is a good feeling and I would like you to have this good feeling and these good thoughts as well. Whereas cold calculation is, I don't want you to know how I feel. How I feel about you is I'm trying to get you to buy from me without thinking about it. So I'm being calculating and it's like, what kind of tactics can I use? Can I use charm pricing? Can I use scarcity? Can I use this? Can I use that? Can I use different things to get you to feel a certain way when I don't feel that way? I'm, I'm looking at my money. I'm looking at my profits. I'm looking at the launch. I'm looking at the sales. So this is what so many marketers and business experts teach us is to be cold and calculating instead of being warm and feeling together is what I want to teach you. It's what I want to, is that what I want us all to do because if the feeling together is authentic, it's yes, there's influence happening. Of course, there's influence happening and there's, um, but it's, it's not a calculate, it's not a disconnect. You see what I mean? It's not a, I'm, I'm here feeling this way and I, I'm really thinking about my money and my, my, my business and I'm doing things to make you feel a certain other way so that you can get, come into my business. So it's manipulation. Uh, it's, it's, it's an authentic invitation into mutual relationship versus a calculating manipulation, which is what most persuasion tactics are. So should you learn persuasion? I mean, I occasionally look at the stuff and I'm just like, I, can't, I don't want to learn persuasion because if, if I, you know, the books on persuasion and the articles and your other, not your, but maybe lots of other marketing coaches and marketing experts will tell you to learn persuasion, right? I think it's dangerous to learn persuasion because once you, once you learn it, it's like embedded in you and you might start using it without realizing you're using it as a calculating move. So I prefer not to learn it. And I prefer to always come back and say, how do I truly feel? And how do I truly think? And that's what I want to impart on others. And I want them to feel with me and to think with me. That's what I want. So charm pricing, <laughs> it's, it's um, a little bit uh, off the tangent here, but it's related as a deeper philosophy for why I don't endorse charm pricing. And my prices are, are such that you have to think about it. It's $75. Instead of 74.95 or instead of 77, 77 is nice. Ooh, sevens, lucky, you know? But that's charm pricing too. And that's tricky too. It's like tricking people into having a fun relationship with a number when it's not. Well, I guess I'm really respectful of your money. And I'm like, I want you to think about your money. I want you to think, compare this amount with how much you would spend elsewhere. I want you to compare and then make a decision. Then, because then the decision is really, really sustainable decision. It's not later on, you won't go, yeah, somebody bought that. I don't know why I bought that. You know, it's like, I don't know why I bought that. Maybe I was just kind of in the moment and I bought it and I don't want that to happen to you. And it's probably happened to you elsewhere. Other people are probably taking your money. 
but I don't want to take your money anymore. I used to do that, but I don't want to do that anymore. So uh, anyway, my price is $150 a month, $75 for a course, sometimes it's 65 or sometimes it's 60. When it's $75 and I discount it during the pre-launch period for me to see if there's going to be enough sales, then I, I take like $20 off, sometimes $25 off. So it's sometimes 55, but that's not really charm. It's just taking money off so that I can see if people want to buy it at a slightly lower rate. Um, anyway, I hope this is interesting to you. You might want to take a look at your own pricing and look at, start noticing, starting today, start noticing other people's pricing. And if you feel like, hey, this is a colleague and a friend of mine, and they don't realize they're using charm pricing, they are, they're using the 47s or 97s or whatever, you know, send them my article about it. This video is a little bit long-winded, but send them my article about it and maybe it'll help them wake up to the fact that they don't want to be a calculating person. They want to be a warm, authentic person, right? Um, nobody wants to be, well, I guess some people want to be calculating because they're, they're so desperate about reaching a goal. And this is why, this is why it's so, this is like, like the, uh, the foundation of my philosophy is to focus on the process of life instead of the results. Because every time we focus on the results by any means necessary, we become calculating, we become manipulative of others. We want, we become selfish, deeply selfish, in other words. Whereas we focus on the process of life, we focus on the enjoyment and the joy and the spirit and the love and the truth and the faith that is in every moment. And that's really, I think what, I believe that's what spirit calls us to do is to bring as much spirit into the moment as possible, not worrying so much about the results. Yes, we plan for results. We, we hope for results. We plan for things that we do that tend to lead to certain results, but we don't plan for it in a calculating way. We come to it with, I'm gonna bring love to the process and I'm gonna bring honesty to the process. And I know that the process overall tends to generate these kinds of results. If I bring love and honesty to it. I tend to see those kinds of things and even better things down the road in the long term. I hope this helps and um, I look forward to your comments and your questions. And if you'll give me a moment, I'll give you, I'll give you a minute to, to comment below while I take a look at seeing if there are any live comments from people who are watching this live. Thank you so much for uh, being here with me, Elisa and Heather and Lauren. And Heather says, you don't need charm pricing when your charm is authentic. Thank you. Well, I think all of our authenticity is charming to our, our true fans. That's the definition of a true fan is they are charmed by just who you are honestly, without needing any tricks, without needing any tricky calculating things. And you know what, I have to say, probably some of you watching this might feel embarrassed or shamed by using charm pricing because you didn't realize that was what was going on. You know what, I, I was using charm pricing for years thinking, oh yeah, it's what I'm supposed to do because it's supposed to make more money. And like I said, it does a little bit more um, in the short term anyway, but I want your long-term mental and spiritual health. That's more important to me than anything. And, and I want you also to be consistent in doing good effective business actions Long-term spiritual health plus good business actions tend to lead to good, authentic business results, right? So don't feel shamed. Don't feel guilty that you're doing it. You don't have to change things right away if you're already doing that, like really out loud doing charm pricing. Just start to think about next time you change your price, round it off. Round it off to the, the, a zero. You can round it off to a five. It's just not in a sense, not like 14.95 cents is really really manipulative, you know, and, and cheesy, to be honest, right? Corny. Um, and just do, you know, 75 is okay. Like, like, you know, 45 is a little bit, eh, just, I, I, I was doing 45 for a while. I'm like, well, let me just round it up to 50 because 45 is still kind of tricky. I think 75 is normal. 50, 25, so 25, 50, 75, 100, 20, 40, 80, 60, 100. You know, those kind of numbers, I think are really easy for people to grasp and go, okay, I can compare that to spending money on these other things. That's what we want them to do. We want them to say, okay, spend money on this or spend money on that. Uh, this is more valuable. We want them 
In fact, we want a more honest signal from the market anyway, right? We want an honest signal from the market to say that our, our product and services stand on its own without the need for any manipulation. Then we know we've got a good product or service and we could do more of that. kind. We can create more stuff like that instead of having to rely on tricky marketing tactics to sell things, right? All right, I hope this helps. And uh, thanks, uh, thanks to uh, Caroline, her comment. It was a, a light bulb moment when I learned about charm pricing and I haven't used it since. Yes, yes. So um, yeah, and Heather says, you know, I'm more charming when my math is simple. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I just, I just feel better with round prices. I'm so proud of it. Like I'm, I can stand on my own products and services just because of what they are instead of having things attached to it that are trying to get people to, anyway, you get the message. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I hope this helps and um, I hope you'll uh, continue building a more and more authentic and successful business. Take care.